Hello everyone, this is Jen Jeff here, and we're back with Rule the Waves as France. Uh, sorry for the late upload of episode, well, Friday's episode, episode 5. I happened to be at a funeral on Friday and wasn't in to upload it. Turn. So what's going on? We have no wars going on. We're building our first BB, which I think will be earlier than everybody else. Yeah, I think we should do that, because that would be good to have good terms with England. Which, of course, cuts my budget to nothing. Almanac. They're building four? <laughs> four. And a battle cruiser. Oh, and they still have 24 Bs. Four... Bays under construction. So I'm going to put these guys into the reserves with the intention of trying to get some money. What are you two doing? You two can go into reserves as well. That gets me some extra money. We're going to design a new ship. It'll be a BC. Auto design it. And it is pretty much, oh, it's not quite the maximum size it can be. <sighs> Let's get this thing to its max size. 24,000 tons. I'm going to make them 12 inch guns, which will save a lot of weight. Oh, I can't do wind turrets? Huh. Well, hmm, I can make it really fast. I do that. What does that do? That doesn't do anything. So about all I can do is make it really fast and give it more armor. So we'll do that. We'll give it some more armor. I do this to two. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. 27. No, that's not quite all right. So take this and we'll put 8.5. That doesn't quite do it. Turrets, 8.5. Uh, oh, I lose a gun that way. I don't want to do that. I can take off one of those. So I'll get me a 27 battle cruiser. It's big and it's fast, and it probably won't achieve a hell of a lot. Save. All okay. Yep. Cost me three. Frick, that cost me a lot of money. Halt for now. Resume. Losing lots of money. Who can I like? You're good. Actually, we could keep these two at the reserves, too. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to leave you guys alone because you're elite and I want you to stay elite. You're going into the reserves. You're all doing stuff. When you two finish working up, well, when both of them do, okay, they're done. They're only fair, so if we just put them in the reserve fleet right now, it's not like we lose anything. We'll keep you active. And that helps my money situation a bit. I'm not going out there. Not going out there. Quality control, savings on armor, halt construction. Uh, sure, because I want money. And I don't mind fighting the Italians so much. I'm not too worried about them being overly powerful. That increases my budget. And the tensions a little bit. Oh, oh no. Austria. Austria. Whoa. 
I'm so scared of Austria. Yeah. This is their biggest ship. It's only got 9-inch guns. This is their newest ship, and it's only got 9-inch guns. It's only got three 9-inch guns. Wow. That's a small dreadnought. Yeah, I am not scared of... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Do I need to build another light cruiser? The frick? Come on! But you never told me to deploy anything there. Oh. You're kidding me. They blew up my... One of my biggest battle cruisers. Not uh, battle cruisers. Battleships. Oh, that's a load of crap. No one's active. Yeah, they're all active now. That's a load of horse manure. That is truly crap. What well, couldn't have been one of the old ships, one of the oceans, but no, they've got to blow up one of the best ones. Because of course, you guys do your jobs. I don't have enough of them. Of course, you guys also do them. You just got reactivated and you're already throwing a fit. Good job. Okay, so who do we have? Um, I love it when ships start on top of each other. What are you? Okay, so your core. You are not following Ocean. You are following that guy. And you will also be AI controlled. Because I had to blow up my biggest and best dreadnought right before the war starts. It was the event that started the war. Yeah, we're still following that. Oh, I love it when they're freaking on top of each other. S you follow that, and you are core. Deal with it. Moving on. There you go. Objectives. Sink two ships of any type in that area. Log. Move. Uh, how long till daylight? Two hours, of course. <clears throat> uh, of course. Unknown ship sighted. It's a merchant vessel, so we'll make an intercept course for it. We'll run into it in the dark. Probably. It is going rather fast. It's running away. And now that it's dark, we can't see it anymore. We know where it's going, and so therefore we can intercept it. No real reason to speed up, because it only does 14 knots or something. Maybe 12, maybe 8. They're very slow. 3 knots. Yeah, they don't move fast. <clears throat> Guys, it's gone. Stop it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. It's down. Now you've got to catch up to the rest of the fleet. Good job. There you go. Hmm. Again, another merchant vessel. 
And that'll take care of it. Those two ships suck. <clears throat> Again, you can leave it alone. I don't know why they sit there and go, oh, we need to hover around this stupid thing. Hmm. What do you run into now? Another merchant vessel? Quite prob probably. <clears throat> the merchant vessel's getting shot at, going, oh, this, this is not friendly. And as of yet, it hasn't been identified, so it may not even be a merchant vessel at all. Yeah, it is. It's a medium merchant. Old, generic merchant ship. Fifty percent fuel remaining. Fifty percent fuel remaining. Five hours. Four hours. Ship state, sea state is bad. Now we're just going to start heading off because it's not going to be daylight soon. Well, yeah, it will be, but we're not going to. It's not going to be daylight in time to see anything. There we go. Three auxiliaries down. Marginal victory. Hooray. So impressed. 18 months for that to be finished. Build ship. Uh, build some more minesweepers. So we're going to actually have minesweepers doing the job of minesweeping as opposed to our destroyers doing the job of minesweeping. Except Okay, what do we have? We have our bees involved, which is very good. We have you involved, which is very helpful. Do I get to... I actually get to command this guy for a change. You can be automated. And the armor cruisers are, of course, way up front. And isolated. I'm hoping they're in this area. And not already down here. Okay, they are up here. Very good. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to be down a minesweeper. There's a merchant. You're going to want to keep steaming away from there, dude. Come on. Max speed is five knots. Pretty crappy merchant ships. What time is it? It is daylight. That's nice to know. Ooh, 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 we found them. We found them. We found them. We found them. What did we run into? <coughs> A light cruiser. Oh boy, we ran into everything. Max speed. So what kind of stuff do they have here? You should be dead. <laughs> but no, you get hit by five inch guns. So you'll be fine. <clears throat> Yay, ten five inch guns, because you can't hit with anything. We're hitting you a bunch of times. I want to get between. I want to get between them and them and. Well, they can't. I want to drive them into here. That's what I want to do. But that is turning into be a rather difficult thing to do. And there's a surprising number in here. Why are you turning that way?
Okay. So I'm going to end the episode here. Because they took out one of my most powerful dreadnoughts right in the beginning. So I've only got one of these, which is one of the most powerful ships on the sea for the time it's going to be here. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.